wish people were that excited to see me on my show. No, That's they are. They are. I'm telling you, it's Friday, November 11th, 2016. It is Veterans Day, and my co-host is Chris Hardwick. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. It's it's really a, a privilege to have you here. Oh, it's amazing to be here, and I just want to tell everyone, we really just, this is like a blind date host. No, right? no, uh, it is true. A lot of people don't realize that we don't really meet until we go on the air. This is it. Yeah. This is happening right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because um, I, I don't know why. I think it, it, it goes back to, we're so superstitious here. We just never like to meet the host right. and talk about anything before the show. So you didn't burn out the conversation. So you don't burn yeah. out the conversation. So I get very uh, nervous to change anything, so that's how we do it. Yeah, so this is like yeah. Tinder host, basically. Right. This so, is like a Tinder host. So right now, would you swipe right or left for me? I've, I swiped right the second I found out I was doing it. Oh, okay. This. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I never, I've never been on Tinder. This is exciting. This is I haven't exciting. either. I haven't either. It's. Uh, ba I feel like it's just a, basically an HPV pyramid scheme. Uh, <laughs> <Tinder>. But. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. But my mom, the two times, my mom is amazing. Sharon, mom, hi. Uh, hi, Sharon. My mom's the most wonderful, supportive mom in the world, but there's only two times that she's ever flipped her gourd. Yeah. The first time was I got to throw out a first pitch at a Dodger game, which I'm not sportsy, so that was a very big deal. Yeah, no, was she concerned about that? Conso concerned? To, like, I, my mom was never a stage mom, but as soon as she stopped screaming, she goes, you're going to get a pitching coach. You're going to go to UCLA. Yeah. You're going to stand on the mound. You need to see how far it is because yeah, yeah. everyone throws it in the dirt. Yeah. And she made sure that I did not screw okay, it up. I'm going to say words to you, and I don't necessarily know what they mean. Did you pitch from the mound? I did pitch from the mound. Okay. Okay. I got it across the plate. Okay. I jumped up and leapt on the catcher, which was a bad idea. Oh, you hurt the catcher? But Don't hurt the catcher. I did not hurt the catcher. The other time was I told her I was going to be on this show. And oh, she just oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. oh, you mean she flipped her lid? She flipped her lid Did on she this. say you needed a pitching coach? Because that's not true. <laughs> not true. The second time. Yeah, yeah. You know, although we did play, oddly enough, uh, we played, um, I should check that, yeah, okay, the trivia call is fine. Sometimes I give away the answer to the trivia question inadvertently just by having a call. Conversation. Okay, we'll make sure that yeah. that doesn't so happen. So yesterday's show, uh, Alex Rodriguez was here, yeah. and we had, um, was he the catcher from the Chicago Cubs? No. Huh? He's the, what? No. I'm, uh, He's the pitcher. No. Oh, no. Wrong. Pitcher. Wrong again. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm not a dude with the sports genes, so you might as well be. He's an outfielder, I thought. He's, He's the catcher. He's. No, how about this? How about this? He you throw guys. ball, him catch good. Like, I don't know. <laughs> he was a dick. That's about as much sports as I know. I, I mean, anyway, anyway, we were playing, we were playing <laughs> baseball. We, we still were didn't figure it out. Because they're both, they're both amazing hitters. Right. Right? And, and they had me pitching to both, uh, both of them, but they had me pitching in a catcher's uniform. I had a catcher's mask on and I had a catcher's bib Protection. on. And they're telling me to pitch underhand. Well, every time I threw the ball, my arm got stuck in the vest. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was yeah. like, you guys, this is all a hindrance. I cannot see. <laughs> I can't use my arms. And they're both screaming at me like, get it over the plate. And yeah, I'm like, hey, I... guess what? I don't play sports. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. Me neither. I was never. I was computers and video games. And I do have to say, because of you, because of me? I got to come into town yesterday a day early and go to the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them premiere last oh night. My and gosh. I met, uh, <clears throat> I met, uh, I got a wand. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I met J.K. Rowling last night because oh. you brought me here. And it was one of the most incredible moments. Oh. And I got so nervous. I get nervous when I meet people that I'm idolized. Me too. So she said, it's very nice to meet you. And all the words rushed in my mouth at once. And all I said was, I got a wand today. Like that was, <laughs> that was my moment. And then she turned around yeah. and had another conversation. Like, like, oh, another, oh, good, another weird. Yeah, another, another <laughs> what, what happened? You know, when uh, Jan, Jan Chalet was telling me all about you, and she came in and she said, uh, Chris Hardwick is your son. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? She's like, he's just like your son's. Like, he could be your third son. Nice. And as soon as you whipped out the wand, I was like, oh, good. Somebody else besides my son has a wand. Yeah. Because that they have, my boys have wands. Yeah. Both of them. They're right to, yeah. uh, as a matter of fact. Right. I, I mean, they are, the, more, the more you talk about yourself a little bit, the more I'm thinking you, I'm good. I'm happy to see you have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. You never could before, but now. 
you know, we're like, like we're in Comic Con culture now. Yes, I know, I know. You got married three months ago. I got married three months ago. Yeah, thank you very much. Hey, your, um, your wedding pictures astounded me. I was so excited because... Um, oh, yeah, we had a little bit of a... Uh, that's, that's R5-D4. That is the... Uh, <laughs> that's not no, the Kelvin, that's R5-D4. Oh, so I'm R2-D2. sorry. I know. You're way nervous. You'll never today. be forgiven. Yeah. <laughs> Those are not the droids we're looking for. They were not. Thank you. Yeah. At least you know that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we had, a, we had a droid, and in the original Star Wars, R5-D4 is the droid that walks out, breaks down, down and then they go with R2-D2. Right. Mm -hmm. So on our wedding, I had the droid be the ring bearer. He goes out halfway through, breaks down. People in the wedding don't know what they're like trying to push the robot up to the altar. But then it's all a bit. The Jawas come out, and then we, we Can get I married. ask you a question? Yeah. Are, are you rich? <laughs> well, I mean, I do work in cable television. Okay, though, so. all right. I was going to say, that's, that's, like, that's got to cost a lot to have the Jawas come out. Well, yes, and my, yeah. uh, my fiancé, my wife, uh, fiancé at the time, <laughs> now what? She's... Well, it was nice being married. Uh, Lydia, Lydia Hurst. Uh, oh, the beautiful Lydia yes, Hurst. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I saw her at a restaurant once, and she's so gorgeous that I found myself just staring at her. I did, time. too. <laughs> uh, what a crazy... Amazing. Yeah. yeah, we went to Japan for the honeymoon. And oh, was... my, tell me about that. Um, well, we wanted to go someplace that wasn't a traditional honeymoon place, and I've always wanted to go to Japan because yes. of all the robots and toys. Yeah. And uh, and we went. It was it was. Un Have you been? No, but we we dream of taking our kids to the Far East. And my son, I my son really believes that he will work in Japan someday. He'll either be in animation or. He will love it. Yeah. I cannot recommend it enough. I mean, because Tokyo is kind of its own thing. But yeah. then when you get out, you take the bullet train, you can get anywhere in two hours, and it's so traditional and beautiful. Do you uh, like fish? I do. They leave the faces on everything. Oh, this we are, morning, we are big with the face on the fish. Oh, you are? Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're a face on the fish family. Good, good, yes. good. I mean, I don't love it, but my kids love it. They eat the cheek and oh, the whole yeah, thing. So yeah. we, everywhere we go, we had this hashtag called eat the face. Like, is she going to eat the face? She yeah, ate the they, face. Yeah, they eat the face. Yeah, but they're face eaters. Lydia wanted to take this one kissing picture okay. everywhere. So we, yeah, there's oh, that, my uh, that picture. So oh, nice. they're so adorable. So Look at nice. the two of them. And then the next one. Uh, there's oh that, gosh. uh, that's Totoro. Look at you, you're going for it. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're married now, oh it's gosh, okay. You're married, it's fine. Yeah, and then this last one. Oh my gosh. This is a Nara, they just have deer walking around. <laughs> no, is that a real deer? That's a real deer. Wait, you did not superimpose the deer. No, 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 there's deer. He looked so bored in that you picture, guys, by that the way. You guys, that deer, doesn't that deer look like a fake deer? It, it's a real deer. <laughs> It's a real, he's like, oh, these humans, what are they doing in my plant, my land? You guys should have your own, like, hashtag. You know how there's owling and planking and mannequining yes. and all of that? You should do, like, deering. Deering Where, is a like, great... You show up and make out in front of in deer. In front of a deer. That is and a the, fantastic idea. That's all yours. Hash. No, it's yours. No, that's yours. There's proof that you said it no, first. But, it, but it's really inspired by your thought. You know what? This is your show. I'll take your idea. Okay. I appreciate okay. that. Thank okay. you very okay. much. Um, so I... I understand also that you went through Central Park and you got to walk around a little bit yesterday. I did. I, I you know. I'm surprised uh, I didn't see you there because I. Do was you walk there. around there? I do. You know, LA, we don't have seasons, and so out here, yeah. When the leaves turn, when the West Coasters are like, what happening? You know. Right. So I took this. I found this amazing picture in Central Park. So this picture, it's like this idyllic picture, but in full disclosure. I mean, it's fine. It well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what's in the background? Okay, it took me like a hundred. I chased that damn horse all over Central Park <laughs> trying to get him in the background. It's like my face was too far in and he was blurry and I wasn't paying attention. And this is just a great lesson. Experience life instead of trying to photograph it all the yes, time. Yes, yeah. Because I, I put this out there. Like I led this really deep contemplative life where I'm taking pictures of horses in the fall. And when I finally got the picture, I was like, yes. And I looked down, I had been standing in sewage mud. <laughs> so whenever you're trying to over-engineer uh, something. True Central Park anointing. Yes, exactly. Anointing. Yep. No, my husband says that to me all the time. He's like, you know, you're so busy photographing life, you're not, you're not experiencing it. And then he'll say to me, remember that great picture you took of me? <laughs> can you uh, send that to me so I can post it on Instagram for a flashback Friday? And I'm yeah. like, oh, you mean that moment where I missed life? <laughs> <laughs> that shut him up. Uh, I'll show him who's Yeah. Boss. I'll post it on my own Instagram feed. <laughs> I just took a picture of you saying yeah, that just yeah. now. Um, it's it's uh, Veterans Day today. Veterans it is Veterans Day. Day. Yeah. All, of, all of the veterans, my dad. Yeah. Um, we have, are 
you a veteran, sir, right here in our audience, right here in our very own audience. Hello and welcome, and thank you uh, for your service and for being a uh, part of our audience. I was searching, I was searching and searching for a photo of my dad, my dad when he was um, in the army, and I cannot find it anywhere because we recreated the photo of him um, when we, we we took our families back to Italy yeah. a, a few summers ago. But there was a picture of my dad uh, in his army uniform standing uh, in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Uh -huh. And then we went back and, uh, and recreated the photo and and of course we can't find them because I'm too busy missing life photographing it. But anyway, there will be a parade today, a parade uh, right here in the city. Um, and it begins at 11.15 a.m. It's on Fifth Avenue between 26th Street. It goes all the way up to 52nd Street and it ends around 3.30. So um, so make sure you uh, go out there. It's and a beautiful day too. It's the absolute perfect day, day to be running around. Yeah. Not trudging through sewage. Correct. Uh, in Central Park. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I am actually very excited about, can I just mention this really fast? Yeah. Uh, the Simpsons is going 30 seasons. Uh, I, can you believe it? Yeah. I, one of my all-time favorite, most quotable shows. Yes. I've been watching the show since 1980, since it was on the Tracy Ullman show in the 80s, oh my actually. Gosh. So Isn't that amazing? It really is. Like, there are people who, ha who were born in the run you and have kids like of their own. You look like a little own. boy. I'm looking at you, but you're saying things that may make maybe you're older I than you look. I was born in 1912. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, yeah. You've met my co-host, Benjamin Button, everyone. <laughs> I will be a baby in a year. Uh, yeah, no, but I... You know, I worked at MTV in like 1995. I've been working. No kidding. Yeah, I did a show called Singled Out. Did you remember Singled Out? Singled Out, yeah. yes, with Jenny McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like a floppy-haired, snotty kid. Uh, what? So. Is that was you? That was me. Holy yeah. smokes! So I am a hundred years old. Uh, so am I. I'm I'm a hundred also. <laughs> this is great. Yes. Centenarians, yes. FTW. <laughs> Listen, you're gonna like this. I'm gonna tell you two things. Two things because Chris is really into science, and you you said that you you yourself you're a bit of a nerd, and I might consider myself a bit of a nerd. Do you know that if you tickle rats, they giggle? Oh. Yeah. Okay. And also, you get diseases. Uh, depends on the rat. I guess not, it depends on the rat. Let's not pigeonhole yeah. all rats. No, no, into I'm sorry. I, you're, I apologize. That's, yeah, they uh, very small -minded. they they seek out getting. They seeked out. Uh, they in this study, they were looking for the researchers' hands because they enjoyed the sensation of being tickled. Oh. Yeah. They they consider it joyful and, uh, you know, sometimes people uh, find uh, tickling repulsive. I can't. I'll throw up on you if you tell. Like, really? I'm not. I do not like being. You too? Okay, well, let's see what No, next. it's not. <laughs> Sounds it's, like a challenge It's not the new challenge. Listen, <laughs> never, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to yeah. tell you something about working here. Never reveal your vulnerabilities oh. to Galman ever. I mean, I love ever. it. I am a rat who yeah. loves being tickled. They say they also make joyful leaps. They also leap with joy, rats. Now, I can attest to this because I one day, I've told this story before, uh, during, a, remember when it, it blizzarded on uh, Halloween, right around Halloween a couple of years back? Okay, I witnessed, we were still living in Soho at the time, I witnessed a rat leaping through the streets and I believe I heard the rat say, oh boy! <laughs> I was like, woohoo! Yeah. And it was like the only time I didn't look at a rat and go, ugh, a rat. I have... was like, he's having so much fun. <laughs> Let's be like, did he have tiny little skates on a little scarf? He didn't, on? he yeah. didn't, but he did have like little earmuffs. And he was like, oh my gosh. Yep, yep. He yep. was like, where's the pizza? <laughs> um, and then uh, one more, one more thing. And uh, a firefighter, and I know this because we've taken, um, we've taken uh, survival classes sure. with our kids about in, being out in the woods. And a firefighter had a brush with death when she was bitten by a rattlesnake after decapitating the reptile. So um, they were hiking in Tennessee on Sunday, and uh, and I guess. Oh, the firefighter's wife stepped over a rattlesnake, and I guess he wanted to protect the others that would be hi hiking, so he chopped the head off of the rattlesnake sure. and then went to show the kids, and the head, and they will tell you this, like survivalists will tell you this, that the head will still bite you. It's well, like those kids bite. are scarred for life. Like, right. there's no, yeah. when you chop the head off a snake and then it bites your father, yeah, like, that's right. it. Zombies. Yeah, yeah. The that's... snake was like, ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> Check and make, right. sir. Yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, very excited about the show today. Big show. You have some very exciting guests on yes. here. Some incredible pop culture things. Jeremy Renner is here. Yeah, Hawkeye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Arrival. It's as if we... I would say we put this show together you kind of for you. I appreciate for that. You. Yeah, yes, I appreciate yes. that. Yeah. Also, uh, Michelle Dockery is here. Yes. Uh, Michelle Dockery. She was on Downton Abbey. Uh, and has very, a new show as well. Very excited to see her. And, oh, now you're going to love this. Here, cover your, uh, what is, is that water or vodka? Some, it's water. Depends on the gas. Depends on the gas. You never know. drinking vodka? <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. Okay, I don't need to know. Okay, it's uh, time for Lives of Party Travel Trivia. <laughs> Expecto Patronus. Hey. Yeah, use your own wand. I use my own wand. I brought my own. I'm good. Oculus Repair. Yes. Oh, nice. Um, so you know that you know. Oh, yes. I, listen, listen. They don't have special effects like this at the Talking Dead, do <laughs> no, they, they don't. No, they don't. No, just zombies. Hey, our uh, trivia dancer is David Rees from Mary <laughs> Bonnie Hoffman from Hooversville, Pennsylvania. Hey, Bonnie Hoffman. Take, take oh. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Kelly, Chris, Gelman, and Art. Oh, my Hello. gosh. Bonnie Hoffman. Bonnie, calm down. You don't need to acknowledge Gelman and Art. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I'm so excited to be able to do this. What are you up to this weekend? I'm um, actually um, hopefully take my 16-year-old for a permit test. Oh. So he's starting the drive, but I have three boys, one 22, um, 16, and a 13-year-old. Oh, God wow. be with you, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, he is. He's always with me. Yeah, <laughs> good. You're going to need it, three sons driving. Yeah, oh, seriously. Yeah. No, it's great. They get out of the house, and she can get some alone time for no, the first time. No, it doesn't work that way, I'm telling you. It, 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 you think the older they get, the less you worry about them, and it actually exponentially becomes more significant. Oh, my God. I, I, if I was a minute late coming home, my mom would appear like Dracula. Where were? Are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Very, very overprotective. I, I think you, your mom and me, we're going to get along just great. Listen, Bonnie, we're going to spin the wheel, see what we're playing for, okay? okay. Here's a great prize, the Veranda Resort and Spa in Antigua. Wow. Seven days, six nights. It's all inclusive. That means, Chris, that it includes all. What? Everything? Everything. What would that value be, Kelly? It's a prize valued at $7,400. You have 20 seconds and only one guess. Bonnie, good luck. Thank you. All right, should I read the question here? Yeah. Bonnie. Yes. You, you watch the show, I assume. I always do. Then this should be easy for you. Amy Adams appeared on yes, yesterday's show. Did you know this? Yes, Amy Adams was on yesterday's show. Okay, good. You just said what I said. Uh, what <laughs> baseball team did Amy say she roots for? What baseball team does Amy root for? Yes. Yes. 20 seconds. Rocky? Yes! 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 Congratulations, you and the guests will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Veranda Resort and Spa on the beautiful island of Antigua. This all-inclusive Caribbean vacation paradise is nestled on 30 spectacular beachfront acres overlooking a tranquil bay. Enjoy a host of activities, nightly entertainment, fine dining, pampering at spa tranquility, and much more. Your prize is valued at approximately $7,400. Congratulations. You should bring whoever your uh, your trivia partner was with you. <laughs> I am so jealous. I, on our show, we just give out zombie toys. You send people to, like, tropical islands for watching your show. First of all, zombie toys are dope. They <laughs> are dope. <laughs> but then she could take her zombie toy yeah. on a trip. Yeah. That's amazing. Congratulations. No, no zombies with me. I don't like zombies. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> I don't blame you. Have if the no apocalypse clowns strikes. either. Bonnie, don't... Don't cut the head off a snake and expect it not to bite you. Just remember that. <laughs> How about okay? this? Cut the head off a snake and walk away. Yeah, okay, okay. or that, or that. <laughs> Listen, now you get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive $500 in movie tickets from Fandango. Yeah. So please pick a number between 1 and 228. 
Um, number 31. 31, 31. Jeremy Renner. All right. Welcome back, everybody. He's an Avenger and a two-time Oscar nominee. Please welcome back to the show, Jeremy Renner. Yes! You know, your friend Amy Adams was here yesterday. Oh, she first, was? First of all, I did not realize that you two have such a long relationship. I thought you yeah, met on the set don't. of American Hustle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We met in a, in a karaoke bar in like 98 or 1999, somewhere in there, yeah. Unbelievable. Why did she say your, you said that your face scares children? <laughs> I, I guess I scare kids. <laughs> That's not possible. You're Hawkeye. You can't scare kids. You save kids. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a, it's a terrible thing. But, you know, my daughter uh, has that same sort of scary uh, face, so it's great for scaring the boys. Which I, I know. Do. Sure. I do, I do appreciate. It makes, makes my uh, life how, as a daddy a lot easier. How old is your daughter now? She's three and a half. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, she's here with me, too, which is oh, awesome. Oh, Just that's take so the road. great. Does she understand that you're an Avenger? Does she know? <laughs> she, well, she knows that I look like the guy in her pajamas. Right. <laughs> she, she yeah, has, yeah, does yeah, she have like, Avenger pajamas, too? Because so does Chris. So I many, do, yeah. Yeah, so many, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> they make me powerful. Whatever. No, yeah, no, she says that I look like the guy on, on, on her pajamas. She's like, no, it's Hawkeye. And but that's Daddy. She, she, no, no, started, no, she started uh, the... Yeah, yeah, I gave her a little, you know, bow and arrow to start... Do you like that this... I don't know the... I can't find my words. Yeah, so yeah that's how Hawkeye this. does it. Hey, it's you guys. There's exactly, there. exactly. She can, yeah, she can do the whole thing. It's amazing. So I was stalking your Instagram because uh, you're. I'm a fan and we should <laughs> hang out. But... Uh, <laughs> You posted pictures of pumpkins, so what were the pumpkins for? The pumpkins was for, uh, I had a little costume party for Halloween, and then, you know, I have a lot of little ones in, in my house, and obviously yeah. you don't want to give kids sharp objects and start carving stuff, and yes. so that's, you know, it's quite messy. So they have this, like, painting and glitter and glue, and which I guess is just as messy anyway, is but it's less Ellen dangerous. Is that Ellen DeGeneres pumpkin? That's a Dory yeah, pumpkin. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. That's it incredible. Was fun. It was really fun for the kids, and uh, yeah, those, actually, sadly, those pumpkins are still sitting in my backyard, just like all... <laughs> I gotta clean those. Gotta throw those out. Mess, yeah, man, they become a, a disaster after yeah, a while. Yeah. Now you two have something in common. You're both excellent bowlers. Did you? Did we? Bowlers. My father is in the Hall of Fame. I grew up on the Pro Bowlers. Oh my goodness. And oh my you, goodness. I grew up with a lot of those guys. Dick Richter and yes, all those dudes. Yeah. Yeah. My dad's name was Billy Hardwick. He was a professional bowler, Hall of Fame. Like, oh, that's he, unreal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a strange thing. You know, it's 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 cool in the bowling center, but on the streets, it's like. <laughs> You yeah, know. I know. I people know. are you like, you know, really, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when, when people say, are you a good bowler? I go, yeah, that's not really a brag. You yeah, know no. what I mean? It's like, who, who was impressed by that? But exactly. you grew up in the bowling center? Yeah, I grew up in a bowling center. Yeah, my uh, my father owned one for a time, and uh, my mom, everybody's spent time there. I bowled since I was three at a 225 average. And, uh, Me too! Yeah? Yeah! My man! Ladies! See? No, we just nerded out. So totally nerded out, but that's amazing. You guys, I don't know what that means, but it sounds incredible. <laughs> it's good. Here's, it's wait, good. We should, we should have a bowl off. Do you want to have a bowl off? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, I mean, let's bowl. We don't have to do it right now, but it's That's okay. right. It'd be weird. Wait, it'd be like that scene from Grease 2. We're gonna bowl. See, no, okay. see, that's what it's not like for, for people that bowl. The only one people have fun when they go bowling. Okay, okay? Yeah, all right. Most people have fun. Okay. Like, we won't have fun. No, no, he's right. People, it's not, because I, I have my own shoes. Yeah, you bowl you're for strikes, like this, and like, let's do this. People are like throwing between their yeah. legs, getting drunk. Like, yeah. Like, turn off the music. Put the regular lights back on. You sit it's, down. Stop spilling like, stuff on yeah, the alley. Yeah, lanes beside you. Yeah. So the, I, just, I go bowling for the cheese fries. I don't know what y'all are talking You see? That's most people. Right. So you and I will go bowling and we'll be super serious about it, but when we come back, we're going to talk about how uh, Jeremy connected his latest role to Jaws, which is another movie I'm a huge fan of. Mm, yeah. uh, so stick around. I'm not surprised. Still uh, Arrival starring Jeremy Renner. This, you know, I was
was talking to Amy about this film yesterday, and I said I'm usually so afraid of alien films and she said it's actually very emotional and that I should bring Kleenex because it has yeah. all of the elements of um, you know the excitement of an alien film but it has a lot of heart you're trying to learn you're trying to speak to the aliens right yeah yeah for, for an alien film it's actually a very human film mm -hmm. and human emotional sort of drama if you will but it's set in the backdrop of you know 12 alien pods sort of landing and figuring out you know why they're here mm -hmm. um, but it's got a very very touching um, uh, mother-daughter story to it and um, it's really 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 it's thoughtful and it moves it's tense it's, and mm -hmm. uh, and I love it it was a it's a great film to do and support Amy in, uh, in a really great role for her so who but who's your, what's your what's your character that, that was I play a, a, a mathematician physicist was very very kind of far from you know things I've done in the past and I couldn't find an entry point into understanding this guy because binary and zeros and ones is really not interesting nor is it sexy and I need to I need to find a way in so I wanted to use humor is what I was telling the director that's so I said think of Richard Dreyfus in Jaws. Mm. So his love for sharks, most people sort of run from sharks. You know, you've seen a shark in the water, but he gets out. Like, he's run, one going in and one to die with him. So is that kind of sort of entry point to something that might be so alien, like talking with aliens or using mathematics to speak with them. Mm -hmm. So I use that sort of like childlike excitement or that idea of that. Well, that's kind of what you were saying before about the, you said the, the film had this really human center. And so I would imagine that would have to start with finding the human center of each of the characters sure. to just figure out who they are and, yeah. and what they and you're want. Using language and, you know, and talking about language and using mathematics and physics and all these things. I'm like, well, how is that really interesting ultimately to audiences? And so they understand it so we can understand it. So the audience is you know what I mean? So yeah. we just try to find emotional content to what we're trying to say, and that, that's what I think we I think we succeeded in. Now that you've played a mathematician, do yes. you go to dinner parties and regale people with your ability to do math? <laughs> no. Do you know, man. and have you retained any math at all? No, no. This is like this is not this is not easy math. This oh is come like, on. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. zero. This is very sexy in my world. I know hundred digits of pi. I don't yeah, need exactly. to brag. That's good. That's good. That's good. Do you I really do. You do. I really do. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're He's saying perfect. like, oh, he just knows ones and zeros. I'm like, I'm in. You know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, we look forward to this film. It opens today. Arrival yeah. arrives today. Yeah. Michelle Dockery is here. So if you guys are uh, Downton Abbey fans, you'd be very excited. She's amazing. Thank you. She started as well. And deplete. I'm oh, a sucker thanks. for it all. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thanks very much. Welcome, welcome back to the show. Thank you were you. out west this past summer. I was, yeah, doing another show. Oh. Um, lucky me. Yeah, you didn't get any um, vacation time or you did? Uh, not much. Oh, that's no. So I was uh, shooting uh, a western called Godless for Netflix, which will be out next year. Um, so yeah, I got to do some traveling. Oh, wow. Did you explore anything, any bits of your surroundings? I went, well, uh, yeah, lots of New Mexico, mm -hmm. and then uh, did lots of hiking. Um, to Grand Canyon? I went to, I did, nice. yeah. Went to Arizona, um, Sedona, which is beautiful. Oh, and that's you. To, Why are you doing that? That is dangerous. Yeah, yeah my mom, when I, set, when I sent my mom that picture, she freaked out because it looks like I'm right on the edge. Well, but, I, yeah. You're Which not? is the, yeah, the, the whole, the, I wanted to scare her, obviously. I have um, an immense <laughs> fear of, like, my wife took us to Horseshoe Bend in Utah, and she was like, let's go on the end. I'm like, we're going to die. Like, I'm not, that's, that's horrifying. It, it wasn't, it kind of tears down, so it doesn't look like that. But so it just looks much more um, terrifying from the angle of the picture. Exactly. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot I of just that there. Scare yeah. Yeah. What, yeah, did you get in, anywhere else in the area? I went to uh, Colorado when nice. it was Telluride, which I hear oh, you. Oh, Telluride, yes. Have a place uh, yeah, we have a place yeah, yeah. there. It, it yeah. is. Yeah. Heaven. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. And it's it's like being on a film set. Yeah, that's Blue Lake. Yes. I hiked, hiked up there. It's the best hiking. 12,000 feet. Yeah. Best um, hiking. 
Yeah, amazing. Um, but it looks like a movie set. You can't quite believe your surroundings. Well, it um, is. I mean, it has been a movie set for so many yeah, movies. Yeah. You know, and I always go, it looks like a real set. <laughs> <laughs> it really it's, is. It's nature. Yeah. Nature card. Yeah. It's where Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid that's successfully right, yeah. like robbed their first bank. Yeah. Well, yeah, we. <laughs> that's what we get excited about in America. Yeah. Uh, but you, uh, you are a part of a fandom that, like, there are a handful of shows mm. that really are supported by an incredibly passionate, yeah. pan, a passionate fan base, and down. Nabby is, is one of yeah. those shows. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to you know America for embracing the show. I know people miss it. Did, yeah, okay. yeah. Do I you miss, miss it? it? Yeah, I miss. I mean, I miss the the cast, and we're all off doing other things. Um, because I keep but, uh, reading that there's a possibility for a film to be there, made. Yeah, but there then is. You're all doing yeah, other... fingers crossed. I mean, it's a challenge getting that many actors back together. Right. Um, at one time, but I, I think it will happen. I hope it will. What do you miss the most about it? What do you miss the most about the show? Um, the cast. I miss I miss the gang and uh, those stunning costumes. Oh. And, I mean, yeah, yeah. And Mary. I mean, I do miss the character. I love I loved playing her. Um, so fingers crossed. We'll. We'll get there. You know, it's funny on, on, on the weekend, especially like if there's no sports or anything for the kids, I will just go back and re binge watch uh, Downton Abbey. Yeah. Is there anything you binge watch? Um, I'm really into The Affair. Oh my god. Well, yeah. I mean, oh my so I'm looking forward to that. that That's the third back. series yeah. is coming back. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, that was a real binge watch for me mm. last year. Women are obsessed um, with the affair, and men are like afraid of watching it. Yeah, <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Can you say? I, I heard you like Stranger Things too. I did. I've just started it. I've just yeah. started. It's amazing. Can I just show my Halloween great. costume? Oh yeah. Here. Eleven. Oh. Yeah. There she is. It's the best. There she is. I support it. I support Eleven it had, Eleven had fallen on hard times. Yeah, Eleven, Eleven had a rough day. Eleven had a rough day. Listen, All we right, have to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to find out why your new role is That's a scene from Good Behavior starring Michelle Dockery, and I don't know, I would believe you. <laughs> <laughs> if someone came to your door and said someone's going to kill you, you'd be like, sure, come in. I, no, I would just, I mean, that that seems so convincing to me. Tell us about the story, because you, you are hiding and you overhear yeah. a conversation. So she, the story follows um, the life of a thief, Letty, mm -hmm. who is trying to rid her life of criminal pursuits and you know be good Start hence over. the title so she's she's on good behavior mm -hmm. on parole um, but during a hotel heist she witnesses a conversation between a hitman and a guy who's hiring to hiring him to kill his wife so she goes out to thwart the operation as a as goodwill. <laughs> I mean, that's how much it is. Um, so then she is, um, in, she becomes entangled in this uh, dangerous um, relationship with this hitman. So I then the story begins. I mean, was this was after you had worked on Downton Abbey for so long? Did you say yeah. I really just I need a departure? I need to do something that's well, it, different. It, to be honest, it wasn't something that I was consciously looking for. You know, so 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 different from Downton. I mean, I was just you know quite frankly, just looking for another job. <laughs> um, uh, but, but this came, came along kind of towards the end of filming Downton, so it was perfect timing, and then we went on to do the pilot a few months later. But, yeah, I mean, it was, it was amazing going on to something so, so different so quickly. Um, and she's just the, you know, other than Lady Mary, is yeah. one of the best characters to play. And um, she's a con artist, so you she say is. she gets. She, does she disguise herself? There's lots of like wigs. She and, does. So yeah. it's like characters within the character. So when she's, uh, you know, doing the hotel heist, she's in this red wig, and then. When she meets Javier, she's in a blonde wig. So we have all these different looks in the show. I like when she meets um, the wife and she's saying she's not crazy. She's wearing a, a shirt with bananas on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's and she's really hung over in yeah. that picture, which is which is why I look like I do in, in that scene. Anyway, we can't wait to see it. It's good behavior. The two episodes. Please return. Uh, That's a, a scene from Ad 
Black Midnight with Chris Hardwick, which airs uh, Monday through Thursday at 11.30 on Comedy Central. It's a game show starring comedians. Yeah, it's a fake game show. It's not a real game show. It's just basically like the Daily Show is like a, like a, pretends to be like a news show, and we pretend to be like a game show. So it's just comedians, a panel of comedians battling for points about stuff we found on the internet that day. So cool. Yeah, so every day after the Daily Show. I love that. You have so many jobs. There's a lot. You have. Well, you I was your, unemployed for a long time. You so have now. your podcast. Yeah, Nerdist Podcast. Nerdist, fun. yes. Yeah. And you have uh, The Talking Dead, of Talking course. Talking Dead and the new show on NBC called The Wall, which is coming oh out uh, in December with LeBron James produced. Holy yeah. cow! Oh, no, it's a crazy... I don't know. And now I'm here! But and this is, the, this is now, the one I'm the most excited about. Now, I know how to pander. I know how to pander. The penultimate of your career. This is the, this is the peak of your career. I'm very excited. Moment. Okay, listen. Uh, let's see. We finally found... Hey, we found my picture of my dad. My dad. Uh, That's an incredible picture. Yeah, so many years ago when that he was incredible. in the army, and he was uh, at the. That's the, the tippy top of the Leaning Tower of uh, Pizza. And of course, we don't have the other picture, which is the him a few years ago. But we'll find that one maybe next week. Yeah, yeah okay. that's incredible. And let's then, see. Then, by the way, they probably just snapped that one time instead of a thousand times. Yeah, you're and right. Just framed it perfectly. You're right, you're right. Uh, let's see. Denise Morgan from North Bangor, New York, said, I want to give a big shout out to all the men and women that have and have and are now serving our country. They're definitely what uh, America stands for. May God bless them all. This is a picture of my grandson, Dylan. Dylan! Darren. He's on his first ball. deployment in uh, Korea. We could not be prouder of him. And, uh, and we, are, uh, we thank your family for their service to our country. Great. Thank sure. you so much, yeah. Dylan. Uh, hugs, high fives, many thanks to you. Yeah. Uh, this, this is from Lindsay Williams. Don't worry, Kelly, I'm 40 and I have several different Harry Potter wands. You are right, Lindsay. Uh, you are right to have all the wands. Yeah, yeah. I have the full collections. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you have over uh, there? I have Claudia Sims from Edinburgh, New York. You didn't finish the story. Was the fireman okay after being bitten by the snake? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty important part. I don't remember. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's, fine. he's fine. They he's moved fine. in with the snake. They've reconciled he's their fine. differences. Yeah, he lived. He lived. Yeah. Or I wouldn't have even brought it Every, up. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, this is from Pam Winkle in uh, Vandalia, Ohio. I probably said that wrong, and I apologize. Uh, this is my father, Charles Skip uh, Inskeep, who is... In, oh, sorry. Who? What did I... I'm sorry. How does television work? Uh, this is Skip right here. He's 98 years old. Uh, he served in World War I. Fifth Army, 56th Evacuation Hospital. He'd love you to give him a shout out. Here's a shout out for you, Skip. Thank you so Skip, much, man. Thank you so much. Uh, we also, uh, oh, Suzanne Graves from Knoxville, Tennessee said, funny how only true bowlers call it a bowling center and not a bowling That's alley. That's true. I used to get in trouble when I was a kid. What's the difference? Because a bowling alley is seedy and a bowling center is like a family environment. And so <laughs> my dad had a bowling center in Memphis still there called All Star Lanes and we were always instructed, it is a bowling center, not a bowling alley. No kidding. Yeah, bowling alleys are dirty. Well, maybe an, <laughs> maybe a bowling alley is like just the one alley, and the center is all of them in a thing. It, or the bowling alleys are dirty. Okay, or that, yeah. or that, or that. Okay. Bowling alley here. You set up a bowling center here? Yeah. We did. Yeah, we we can try that out. No, we definitely have a bowling alley if we <laughs> set up. Okay. Well, let's. Why don't we do that? Should we? Yeah, should we take Chris a commercial to break and I'll we'll bowl, see how good I'll he bowl is? If you guys okay. have If you'd like to learn more, visit AliveKelly.com. Hi, everybody. We're back with Chris Hardwick, who, by the way, was a child prodigy. Yes, not only did he grow up in and around bowling centers, and his dad was a professional bowler, you bowled on the Mike Douglas show as a child. I did, yeah. There was a very famous talk show in, in the 1900s called Mike Douglas, and uh, I bowled against a guy named Jimmy okay. Walker, who was on a show called Good Times. Yeah. And, uh, J.J. Walker. J.J. Walker, yeah. yeah. I only have one shot. Well, you, you, yeah, you go, you okay, go first. Okay, I can't get my finger. I, I swear, we can't you know, get I do our not have my own. Balls. I don't have my. I don't have my own shoes and ball here. We can't uh, get our fingers in the holes. Okay, go ahead. but I'll try. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. You're gonna pick that up. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up this. Thing. I'm gonna not. Yeah, you're gonna oh, pick that up. No, I'm not going to because we've got. Oh, they just set it up. Oh, I got a strike. Look at that. How about that? Okay. Okay, here we go. This right, is gonna be hands amazing. Hands. Here we go. Shake hands with the
went to Arizona, um, Sedona, which is beautiful. Oh, and that's you. you. Why are you doing that? That is dangerous. Yeah, yeah my mum, when, when I sent my mum that picture, she freaked out because it looks like I'm right on the edge. Well, but, I, yeah. Which is the, yeah, the, the whole, the, I wanted to scare her, obviously. I have um, an immense <laughs> fear of, like, my wife took us to Horseshoe Bend in Utah, and she was like, let's go on the end. I'm like, we're going to die. Like, I'm not, that's, that's horrifying. Yeah, it, it wasn't, it kind of tears down, so it doesn't look like that. But so it just looks much effect. more um, terrifying from the angle of the picture. Exactly. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot I of just that there. Scare yeah. Yeah. What, yeah, did you get in, anywhere else in the area? I went to uh, Colorado when nice. it was Telluride, which I hear oh, you. Oh, Telluride, yes. Have a place. Uh, yeah, we have a place yeah, yeah. there. It, it yeah. is. Heaven. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. And it's it's like being on a film set. Yeah, that's Blue Lake. Yes. I hiked, hiked up there. It's the best hiking. 12,000 feet. Yeah. Best um, hiking. Yeah, amazing. Um, but it looks like a movie set. You can't quite believe your surroundings. Well, it um, is. I mean, it has been a movie set for so many yeah, movies. Yeah. You know, and I always go, it looks like a real set. <laughs> <laughs> it no, really it's, it's is. nature. Yeah. Nature carved yeah. this. It's where Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid successfully, right, yeah. like, robbed their first bank. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, <laughs> that's what we get excited about in America. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you, uh, you are a part of a fandom that, like, there are a handful of shows mm. that really are supported by an incredibly passionate, yeah. fan, a passionate fan base. And down Abby is, is one of yeah. those shows. Yeah, thank you. And thanks, you know, so much thanks to, you know, America for embracing the show. I know people miss it. Did, yeah. Do, yeah. Do you miss, miss it? it? Yeah, I miss, I mean, I miss the, the cast and we're all off doing other things. Um, yeah, because I keep but, reading uh, that there's a possibility for a film to be there, made. Yeah, but there is. are all doing Yeah, other... fingers crossed. I mean, it's a challenge getting that many actors back together. Right. Um, at one time, but I, I think it will happen. I hope it will. What do you miss the most about it? What do you miss the most about the show? Um, the cast. I miss I miss the gang and uh, those stunning costumes. Oh. And, I mean, yeah, yeah. And Mary. I mean, I do miss the character. I love I loved playing her. Um, so fingers crossed. We'll. We'll get there. You know, it's funny on, on, on the weekend, especially like if there's no sports or anything for the kids, I will just go back and re binge watch uh, Downton Abbey. Is there anything you binge watch? Um, I'm really into The Affair. Oh my god. Well, yeah. I mean, oh my so I'm looking forward to that. that That's the third back. series is yeah. coming back. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, that was a real binge watch for me mm. last year. Women are obsessed um, with the affair, and men are like afraid of watching it. Yeah, <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Can you say? I, I heard you like Stranger Things too. I do. I've just started it. I've just yeah. started. It's amazing. Can I just show my Halloween great. costume? Oh yeah. Here. Eleven. Oh. Yeah. There she is. It's the best. There she is. I support it. I support Eleven it had, lot. Eleven had fallen on hard times. Yeah, Eleven, Eleven had a rough day. Eleven had a rough day. <laughs> Leaves turn when the West Coasters are like, what happening? You know? Right. So I took this, I found this amazing picture in Central Park. So this picture, it's like this idyllic picture. But in full disclosure. I mean, it's fine. It, well. <laughs> <laughs> park. Well, okay. Yeah, I know. Well, because I tell you why. Do you see what's in the background? Okay, it took me like a hundred. I chased that damn horse all over Central Park <laughs> trying to get him in the background. It's like my face was too far in and he was blurry and I wasn't paying attention. And this is just a great lesson. Experience life instead of trying to photograph it all the yes, time. Yes, yeah. Because I, I put this out there. Like I led this really deep contemplative life where I'm taking pictures of horses in the fall. And when I finally got the picture, I was like, yes. And I looked down, I had been standing in sewage mud. <laughs> so whenever you're trying to over-engineer uh, something. true Central Park anointing. Yes, exactly. Anointing. Yeah. No, my husband says that to me all the time. He's like, you know, you're so busy photographing life, you're not, you're not experiencing it. And then he'll say to me, remember that great picture you took of me? <laughs> can you uh, send that to me so I can post it on Instagram for a fa flashback Friday? And I'm yeah. like, oh, you mean that moment where I missed life? <laughs> <laughs> that shut him up. Uh, I'll show him who's yeah. lost. I'll post it on my own Instagram feed. <laughs> I just took a picture of you saying yeah, that just yeah. now. Um, it's it's uh, Veterans Day today. Veterans Day. It is Veterans Day. Day. Yeah. All, of, all of the veterans, my dad. Yeah. And we have, are you a veteran, sir, right here in our audience, right here in our very own audience? Hello and welcome and thank you uh, for your service and for being uh, part of our audience. I was searching, 
I was searching and searching for a photo of my dad, my dad when he was um, in the army, and I cannot find it anywhere because we recreated the photo of him um, when we, we we took our families back to Italy yeah. a, a few summers ago. But there was a picture of my dad uh, in his army uniform standing uh, in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Uh -huh. And then we went back and, uh, and recreated the photo and and of course we can't find them because I'm too busy missing life photographing it. But anyway, there will be a parade today, a parade uh, right here in the city. Um, and it begins at 11.15 a.m. It's on Fifth Avenue between 26th Street. It goes all the way up to 52nd Street and it ends around 3.30. So um, so make sure you uh, go out there. It's and a beautiful day too. It's the absolute perfect day, day, day to be running around. Yeah. Not charging for sewage. Correct. Uh, in Central Park. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I am actually very excited about, can I just mention this really fast? Yeah. Uh, the Simpsons is going 30 seasons. Uh, can you believe it? Yeah. I... Chris is really into science, and you you said that you you yourself you're a bit of a nerd, and I might consider myself a bit of a nerd. Do you know that if you tickle rats, they giggle? Oh. Yeah. Okay. And also, you get diseases. Uh, depends on the rat. I guess it depends on the rat. Let's not pigeonhole yeah. all rats. No, no, I'm sorry. I, you're, I apologize. That's, yeah, they uh, very small -minded they me. they seek out getting. They seeked out. Uh, they in this study, they were looking for the researchers' hands because they enjoyed the sensation of being tickled oh. yeah they they consider it joyful and uh, you know sometimes people uh find uh, tickling repulsive. I can't, I'll throw up on you if you tell. Like, really? I'm not, I do not like being, you two? Okay, we'll do it. No, it's not. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge It's not us. the new challenge. Listen, to never, my life I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to yeah. tell you something about working here. Never reveal your vulnerabilities oh, to Gelman, ever. I mean, I love ever. it. I am a rat who yeah. loves being tickled. They say they also make joyful leaps. They also leap with joy, rats. Now, I can attest to this because I one day, I've told this story before, uh, during uh, remember when it, it blizzarded on uh, Halloween, right around Halloween a couple of years back? Okay, I witnessed, we were still living in Soho at the time, I witnessed a rat leaping through the streets, and I believe I heard the rat say, Oh boy! <laughs> I was like, Woohoo! <laughs> and it was like the only time I didn't look at a rat and go, Ugh, a rat! I have... was like, He's having so much fun. <laughs> Let's be like, did he have tiny little skates on a little scarf? He didn't, on? he yeah. didn't, but he did have like little earmuffs, and he was like, Oh my god! Yep, yep. He yep. was like, where's the pizza? <laughs> um, and then uh, one more, one more thing, and uh, a firefighter, and I know this because we've taken, um, we've taken uh, survival classes sure. with our kids about in, being out in the woods, and a firefighter had a brush with death when she was bitten by a rattlesnake after decapitating the reptile. So, um, they were hiking in Tennessee on Sunday, and, uh, and I guess... Oh, the firefighter's wife stepped over a rattlesnake, and I guess he wanted to protect the others that would be hike, hiking, so he chopped the head off of the rattlesnake sure. and then went to show the kids, and the head, and they will tell you this, like survivalists will tell you this, that the head will still bite you. It's well, like those kids are scarred for life. Like, there's no, <laughs> when you chop the head off a snake and then it bites your father, yeah, like, that's right. it. Zombies. Yeah, yeah. The that's... snake was like, ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> Check and make, right. sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, very excited about the show today. Big show. You have some very exciting guests on yes. here. Some incredible pop culture things. Jeremy Renner is here. Yeah, Hawkeye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Arrival. It's as if we... I would say we put this show together you kind for of you. I appreciate for that. You. Yeah, yes, I appreciate yes. that. Yeah. Also, uh, Michelle Dockery is here. Yeah. Uh, Oddly enough, uh, we played. Um, I should check that. Yeah. Okay. The trivia call is fine. Sometimes I give away the answer to the trivia question inadvertently just by having a conversation. Okay. We'll make sure that yeah. that doesn't so happen. Yesterday's show, uh, Alex Rodriguez was here. Yeah. And we had. Um, was he the catcher from the Chicago Cubs? No. Huh? He's the what? No. I'm He's the pitcher. No. Oh no. Wrong. Pitcher. Wrong again. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm not a dude with the sports genes, so you might as well be an outfielder, I thought. He's, He's a catcher. Outfielder. He's no, how about this? How about this? He throws you guys, ball, him catch good. Like, I don't know. He was a dead That's about as much sports as I know. I, I mean, anyway, anyway, we were playing, we were playing <laughs> baseball. We, we still were didn't figure to, it out. Because they're both, they're both amazing hitters. Right. Right? And, and 
they had me pitching to both uh, both of them, but they had me pitching in a catcher's uniform. I had a catcher's mask on and I had a catcher's For bib protection. on. <laughs> and they're telling me to pitch underhand. Well, every time I threw the ball, my arm got stuck in the vest. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was yeah. like, you guys, this is all a hindrance. I cannot see. <laughs> I can't use my arms. And they're both screaming at me like, get it over the plate. And yeah, I'm like, I... hey, guess what? I don't play sports. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Me neither. I was never. I was computers and video games. And I do have to say, because of you, because of me? I got to come into town yesterday a day early and go to the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them premiere last oh night. My and gosh. I met, uh, <clears throat> I met, uh, I got a wand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I met J.K. Rowling last night because oh. you brought me here. And it was one of the most incredible moments. Oh. And I got so nervous. I get nervous when I meet people that I am idolize. Me too. So she said, it's very nice to meet you. And all the words rushed in my mouth at once. And all I said was, I got a wand today. Like, that was, <laughs> that was my moment. And then she turned around and had another conversation. Like, like, oh, like, another, oh, good, another weird. Yeah, another, another <laughs> what, what happened? You know, when uh, Jan, Jan Chalet was telling me all about you, and she came in and she said, uh, Chris Hardwick is your son. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? She's like, he's just like your son's. Like, he could be your third son. Nice. And as soon as you whipped out the wand, I was like, oh, good. Somebody else besides my son has a wand. Yeah. Because that they have, my boys have wands. Yeah. Both of them. They're right to, yeah. uh, as a matter of fact. Right. I, I mean, they are, the, more, the more you talk about yourself a little bit, the more I'm thinking you, I'm good. I'm happy to see you have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> you never could before, but now, you know, we're like, like in Comic-Con culture. Now. Yes, I know, I know. You got married three months ago. I got married three months ago. Yeah, thank you very much. Hey, your, um, your wedding pictures astounded me. I was so excited because... Um, oh, yeah, we had a little bit of a... Uh, that's that. There, yeah, there is. All doing yeah, other... fingers crossed. I mean, it's a challenge getting that many actors back together. Right. Um, at one time, but I, I think it will happen. I hope it will. What do you miss the most about it? What do you miss the most about the show? Um, the cast. I miss I miss the gang and uh, those stunning costumes. Oh. And, I mean, yeah, yeah. And Mary. I mean, I do miss the character. I love I loved playing her. Um, so fingers crossed, we'll we'll get there. You know, it's funny on 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 the weekend, especially like if there's no sports or anything for the kids, I will just go back and re binge watch. Uh, down to Nabby. Yeah. Is there anything you binge watch? Um, I'm really into The Affair. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. Oh my gosh. So I'm looking forward that that That's the third back. series yeah. is coming back. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that was a real binge watch for me mm -hmm. last year. It's, Women are obsessed um, with The Affair and men are like afraid of watching it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Can you say, I, I heard you like Stranger Things too. I do. I've just started it. I've just yeah. started it. It's amazing. Can I just show my Halloween great. costume? Oh this yeah. Year? <laughs> 11. Oh. She is. It's the best. There she is. I support it. I support Eleven it a lot. Had, Eleven had fallen on hard times. Yeah, Eleven, Eleven had a rough day. Eleven had a rough day. Listen, All we right, have to please. take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to find out why your new role involves women from designer That's a scene from Good Behavior starring Michelle Dockery. And I don't know. I would believe you. <laughs> <laughs> if someone came to your door and said someone's going to kill you, you'd be like, sure, come in. I, no, I would just, I mean, that that seems so convincing to me. Tell us about the story because you, you are hiding and you overhear yeah. a conversation. So she, the story follows um, the life of a thief, Letty, mm -hmm. who is trying to rid her life of criminal pursuits and, you know, be good, Start hence over. the title. So she's she's on good behavior mm -hmm. on parole. Um, but during a hotel heist, she witnesses a conversation between a hitman and a guy who's hiring, to ki hiring him to kill his wife. So she goes out to thwart the operation as a as goodwill. <laughs> I mean, that's how <laughs> um, so then she is, um, in, she becomes entangled in this uh, dangerous um, relationship with this hitman. So I then the story begins. Okay, was this, was, was, after you had worked on Downton Abbey for so long, did you say, yeah. I really just, I need a departure, I need to do something that's well, it, different? It, to be honest, it wasn't something that I was consciously looking for, you know, so, so, so different from Downton. I mean, I was just, you know, 
quite frankly, just looking for another job. <laughs> um, uh, but, but this came, came along kind of towards the end of filming Downton, so it was perfect timing, and then we went on to do the pilot a few months later. But, yeah, I mean, it was... It was amazing going on to something so so different so quickly. I don't yeah, mean exactly. to brag. That's good. That's good. That's good. Do you re I really of do. You do. I really do. That's right. Yeah. 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 So, so you're saying perfect. like, oh, he just knows ones and zeros. I'm like, I'm in. You know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't pat her. Don't yeah. pat her. Yeah. Listen, we look forward to this film. It opens today. Arrival yeah. arrives today. Yeah. 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 So if you guys are uh, Downton Abbey fans, you'd be very excited. She's amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, everybody. Yes, thank you. She started with... Deplete. I'm oh, a sucker thanks. for it all. Thank you. Look you. fantastic. Thanks very much. Welcome, welcome back to the show. You, you were out west this past summer. I was, yeah, doing another show. Oh. Um, lucky me. Yeah, you didn't get any um, vacation time or you did? Uh, not much. Oh, no. So I was uh, shooting uh, a western called Godless for Netflix, which will be out next year. Um, so yeah, I got to do some traveling. Oh, wow. Did you explore anything, any bits of your surroundings? I went, well, uh, yeah, lots of New Mexico, mm -hmm. and then uh, did lots of hiking. Um, to Grand Canyon? I went to, I did, nice. yeah. Went to Arizona, um, Sedona, which is beautiful. Oh, that's you. To... Why are you doing that? That is dangerous. Yeah, yeah my mom, when I, set, when I sent my mom that picture, she freaked out because it looks like I'm right on the edge. Well, but, I... Yeah. Which is the, yeah, the, the whole, the, I wanted to scare her, obviously. I have um, an immense fear of, like, my wife took us to Horseshoe Bend in Utah, and she was like, let's go on the end. I'm like, we're going to die. Like, I'm not, that's, that's horrifying. It, it wasn't, it kind of tears down, so it doesn't look like that. But so it just looks much more um, terrifying from the angle of the picture. Exactly. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot I of that there. Scare her. Yeah. What, yeah, did you get in, anywhere else in the area? I went to uh, Colorado when nice. I was Telluride, which I hear oh, you. Oh, Telluride, yes. Uh, yeah, we have a place yeah, yeah. there. It, it yeah. is. Heaven. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. And it's it's like being on a film set. Yeah, that's Blue Lake. Yes. I hiked, hiked up there. It's the best hiking. 12,000 feet. Yeah. Best um, hiking. Yeah, amazing. Um, but it looks like a movie set. You can't quite believe your surroundings. Well, it um, is. I mean, it has been a movie set for so many yeah, movies. Yeah. You know, and I always go, it looks like a real set. <laughs> <laughs> it no, really it's, it's nature. Nature yeah. carpet. It's where Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kids successfully, right, yeah. like, robbed their first bank. Yeah. Well, yeah, we... <laughs> that's what we get excited about in America. Yeah. Uh, but you, uh, you are a part of a fandom that, like, there are a handful of shows mm. that really are supported by an incredibly passionate... Yeah. Pan, a passion. comes entangled in this uh, dangerous um, relationship with this hitman. So then the story begins. I mean, was this, was, uh, after you had worked on Downton Abbey for so long, did you say, yeah. I really just, I need a departure, I need to do something that's well, it, different? It, to be honest, it wasn't something that I was consciously looking for, you know, so, so, so different from Downton. I mean, I was just, you know, quite frankly, just looking for another job. <laughs> um, uh, but, but this came, came along kind of towards the end of filming Downton, so it was perfect timing, and then we went on to do the pilot a few months later. But, yeah, I mean, it was... It was amazing going on to something so, so different so quickly. Um, and she's just the, you know, other than Lady Mary, is yeah. one of the best characters to play. And um, she's a con artist, so you she say is. she gets, she, does she disguise herself? There's lots of like wigs she and. She does, so yeah. it's like characters within the character. So when she's, uh, you know, doing the hotel heist, she's in this red wig and then. When she meets Javier, she's in a blonde wig. So we have all these different looks in the show. I like when she meets um, the wife and she's saying she's not crazy. She's wearing a, a shirt with bananas on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's and she's really hungover in yeah. that picture, which is which is why I look like I do in that scene. Anyway, we can't wait to see it. It's good behavior. The two episodes. Please return. Uh
Monday through Thursday at 11.30 on Comedy Central. It's a game show starring comedians. Yeah, it's a fake game show. It's not a real game show. It's just basically like the Daily Show is like a, like a, pretends to be like a news show and we pretend to be like a game show. So it's just comedians, a panel of comedians battling for points about stuff we found on the internet that day. So cool. Yeah, so every day after the Daily Show. I love that. You have so many jobs. There's a lot. You have. Well, you I was unemployed for a long time. You so have now. your podcast. Yeah, Nerdist Podcast. Nerdist, fun, yes. Yeah. And you have uh, The Talking Dead, of talking course. Talking Dead and the new show on NBC called The Wall, which is coming oh out uh, in December with LeBron James producing. So, Holy yeah. God. Oh, no, it's a crazy... I don't know. And now I'm here. But and this is, the, this is now, the one I'm the most excited about. Now, yeah. Yeah. I know how to pander. I know how to pander. This is the this is the peak of your career. I'm very this excited. Moment. Okay, listen. Uh, let's see. We finally found. Hey, we found my picture of my dad. My dad. Uh, That's an incredible picture. Yeah, so many years ago when that he was incredible. in the army and he was uh, at the. That's the, the tippy top of the Leaning Tower of uh, Pizza, and of course we don't have the other picture, which is the him a few years ago. But we'll find that one maybe next week. Yeah, maybe. yeah okay. that's incredible. And let's. Then, see. Then, by the way, they probably just snapped that one time instead of a thousand times. Yeah, you're and it right. Just framed it perfectly. You're right. You're right. Uh, let's see, Denise Morgan from North Beck. For so long, did you say yeah. I really just I need a departure? I need to do something that's well, it, different. It, to be honest, it wasn't something that I was consciously looking for. You know, so 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 different different from Downton. I mean, I was just, you know, quite frankly, just looking for another job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but this came, came along kind of towards the end of filming Downton, so it was perfect timing, and then we went on to do the pilot a few months later. But, yeah, I mean, it was... It was amazing going on to something so, so different so quickly. Um, and she's just the... You know, other than Lady Mary, is yeah. one of the best characters to play. And um, she's a con artist, so you she say is. she gets. She, does she disguise herself? There's lots of like wigs. She and, does. So yeah. it's like characters within the character. So when she's, uh, you know, doing the hotel heist, she's in this red wig, and then. When she meets Javier, she's in a blonde wig. So we have all these different looks in the show. I like when she meets um, the wife and she's saying she's not crazy. She's wearing a, a shirt with bananas on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's and she's really hung over in yeah. that picture, which is which is why I look like I do in, in that scene. Anyway, we can't wait to see it. It's good behavior. The two episodes. Here. Please return. Uh, That's uh, a scene from At Midnight with Chris Hardwick, which airs uh, Monday through Thursday at 11.30 on Comedy Central. It's a game show starring comedians. Yeah, it's a fake game show. It's not a real game show. It's just basically like the Daily Show is like a, like a pretends to be like a news show, and we pretend to be like a game show. So it's just comedians, a panel of comedians, battling for points about stuff we found on the internet that day. So cool. Yeah, so every day after the Daily Show. I love that. You have so many jobs. There's a lot. You have well, you I was your, unemployed for a long time. You so have now. your podcast. Yeah, Nerdist Podcast. Nerdist, which is fun. yes. Yeah. And you have uh, The Talking Dead, of talking course. Talking Dead, and the new show on NBC called The Wall, which is coming oh out uh, in December with LeBron James producing. So, Holy yeah. God. I don't know. It's a crazy. I don't know. And now I'm here. But and this, now, is, yeah. the, this is the now, one I'm the most excited about. Now, yeah. Yeah. I know how to pander. I know how to pander. This is the this is the peak of your career. I'm very this excited. Moment. Okay, listen. Uh, let's see. We finally found. Hey, we found my picture of my dad. My dad. Uh, That's an incredible picture. Yeah, so many years ago when that he was incredible. in the army, and he was uh, at the. That's the, the tippy top of the Leaning Tower of uh, Pizza, and of course we don't have the other picture, which is the him a few years ago. But we'll find that one maybe next week. Yeah, maybe. yeah okay. that's incredible. And let's. Then, see. Then, by the way, they probably just snapped that one time instead of a thousand times. Yeah, you're and right. Just framed it perfectly. You're right. You're right. Uh, let's see. Denise Morgan from North Bangor, New York, said, "I want to give a big shout out to all the men and women that have, and have, and are now serving our country. They are definitely what uh, America stands for. May God bless them all." Working Cable television. Okay, okay so, all right. Uh, I was gonna say that's got, that's like that's got it cost a lot to have the Jawas come. Well, yes, and my yeah. uh, my fiance, my wife, uh, my fiance at the time. <laughs> now what? She's. Well, it was nice being married. Uh, <laughs> Lydia, Lydia Hurst. Um, oh, the beautiful Lydia yes, Hurst. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I saw her at a restaurant once, and she's so gorgeous that I found myself just staring at her. I did time. too. <laughs> uh, what a crazy. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, we went to Japan for the honeymoon. Oh was... my! Tell me about that. 
Um, well, we wanted to go someplace that wasn't a traditional honeymoon place. And I've always wanted to go to Japan because yes. of all the robots and toys. Yeah. And, uh, and we went. It was, it was un have you been? No, but we, we dream of taking our kids to the Far East. And my son, I, my son really believes that he will work in Japan someday. He'll either be in animation or he will in... will love it. Yeah. I he's... cannot recommend it enough. I mean, because Tokyo is kind of its own thing. But yeah. then when you get out, you take the bullet train, you can get anywhere in two hours. And it's so traditional and beautiful. Do you uh, like fish? I do. They leave the faces on everything. Oh, we are, we are big with the face on the fish. Oh, you are? Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're a face on the fish family. Good, good, yes. good. I mean, I don't love it, but my kids love it. They eat the cheek and oh, the whole yeah. thing. So yeah. we, everywhere we go, we had this hashtag called eat the face. Like, is she going to eat the face? She yeah, ate the they, face. They, they eat the face. Yeah, but they're face eaters. Lydia wanted to take this one kissing picture okay. everywhere. So we, yeah, there's oh, that, uh, that picture. So oh, nice. they're so adorable. So Look at nice. the two of them. And then the next one. Uh, there's oh my that, gosh. Uh, that's Totoro. Look at you, you're going for it. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're married now, oh it's gosh, okay. You're married, it's fine. Yeah, and then this last one. Oh my gosh. This is in Nara, they just have deer walking around. <laughs> no, is that a real deer? That's a real deer. Wait, you did not superimpose the deer. No, 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 there's deer. He looked so bored in that you picture, guys, by that the way. You guys, that deer, doesn't that deer look like a fake deer? It, it's a real deer. <laughs> It's a real, he's like, oh, these humans, what are they doing in my plant, in my land? You guys should have your own, like, hashtag, you know how there's owling and planking and mannequining yes. and all of that? You should do, like, deering. Deering is a like, great... Where, show up and make out in front of in deer. In front of a deer. That is and a the, fantastic idea. That's all yours. No, hash, it's yours. No, that's yours. There's proof that you said it no, first. No, but, it, but it's really inspired by your thought. You know what? This is your show. I'll take your idea. Okay, I appreciate okay, that. Thank okay, you very okay. much. Um, so, I... I understand also that you went through Central Park and you got to walk around a little bit yesterday. I did. I, I you know. I'm surprised uh, I didn't see you there because I. Do was you walk there. around that? I do. You know, LA, we don't have seasons, and so out here, yeah. When the leaves turn, when the West Coasters are like, "What happening?" You know. Right. So I took this. Am I found this amazing picture in Central Park. So this picture, it's like this idyllic picture, but in full disclosure. I mean, it's fine. It, well. <laughs> <laughs> park. Well, okay. Yeah, I know. Well, because I tell you why. Do you see what's in the background? Okay, it took me like a hundred. I chased that damn horse all over Central Park <laughs> trying to get him in the background. It's like my face was too far in and he was